From Washington's crossing of the Delaware to President Kennedy's moon speech. Today, in the United States, we celebrate President's Day. On this President's Day, since Alien Institute is dedicated to our future in space, we look at a brief clip of President John F. Kennedy's speech at Rice University in Houston on 12 September 1962 amid a fierce space race with the Soviet Union. For we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. Let me repeat that last sentence. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. In other words, President Kennedy points out the condition that the more we learn, the more we realize how much we do not know. We find out how vast the universe is and how little we know about it. This idea is best expressed by the Dunning-Kruger effect. The Dunning-Kruger effect states that if a person knows very little about a certain field of study, the confidence level of that person is quite high. As knowledge increases, that same person's confidence goes way down and they feel they will never understand the subject matter. As that person accumulates more information on the topic, the person's confidence level begins to rise a little as things start to make sense. Finally, as the person's knowledge reaches a relatively high level, their confidence moves to about half the level it was at the very beginning. Remember, at the beginning, confidence was sky high. Ultimately, the person realizes that they do not know everything and that the universe is complicated, but their mid-level confidence allows them to pursue knowledge with great enthusiasm. Now, looking back to Kennedy's We Choose to Go to the Moon speech in general, we recall it was made after scientists, in particular Hermann Oberth in the 1930s, believed rockets could potentially crack the invisible barrier of gravity to enter space, and after President Dwight D. Eisenhower established NASA in 1958. Later this month, we will review other parts of Kennedy's speech that was written to sway Americans to support the idea of conquering the new frontier of space by invoking the pioneer spirit that dominated American folklore. As mentioned before, the NASA days of old were vibrant, exciting, and full of enthusiasm, whereas the acronym for NASA today stands for Need Another Space Agency. We, members of Alien Institute today, stay committed to the original principles of NASA in which we choose to pursue knowledge within our universe with great enthusiasm. Hey team members, understanding great minds will add to our goal to become visionaries. Don't forget to comment, share, and strike the like. But most importantly, strike that subscribe button to become part of our elite team.